Well, many people seized the opportunity to get vaccinated at pop-up clinics over the weekend. To meet demand, the CECC has decided to extend the walk-in service at Taipei Main Station until December 21st. The emergence of three cases of the new Omicron variant Saturday also prompted those who've never been vaccinated to get the jab. The good news is that new findings have revealed that the Omicron variant leads to milder symptoms compared to Delta, despite its higher transmissibility. Authorities say what's most important now is to raise the coverage rate of full vaccination. Another walk-in vaccine clinic was set up over the weekend at New Taipei's Banqiao train station to service the public. Many people turned up and got in line as early as 7 o'clock in the morning, way ahead of the 9 o'clock opening time. Many of these early risers were older adults looking to get a booster shot. I got my second dose on July 9th, and it's been five months already, so I can get a third dose today. But some were turned away because the five-month interval had not been reached. The second and third doses have to be more than five months apart. It's no big deal to come all the way here for nothing. No problem at all. Others, a small minority, came to get their first dose. I couldn't find any available time slots to set up an appointment. Now that there's a new variant, of course I'd want to get my first dose. To date, Taiwan has reported three imported cases of the Omicron variant, prompting the few remaining unvaccinated to get the jab. Despite that the Omicron variant is still shrouded in the unknown, a South African doctor, Umbin Pillay, said that compared with Delta, Omicron symptoms are much milder and that most patients are able to fully recover within 14 days on their own. According to the latest scientific findings, the Omicron variant has already undergone a genetic reshuffle with the coronavirus of the common cold, resulting in milder symptoms. Two of the three Omicron cases on Saturday had received two vaccine shots. In other words, both were breakthrough infections. This has led to worries in the medical community about whether to shorten the interval between the second and third doses. I don't think it's necessary. For the third dose, I believe as long as it is administered within the coming six months, we should be able to reach a certain level of efficacy. If the third dose is a later generation vaccine, then we will receive a better vaccine. Professor Chen Shouxi also stressed that raising vaccine coverage is still the top priority and that the goal for full vaccination should be set at 90 percent of the population.